Hello everybody, welcome to beautiful downtown Sheffield. It is playoffs day number two. Last night it was Luton 1, Huddersfield 1. But that's all ancient history. Go and check out the vlog on that. Today we are here at Bramall Lane for the fourth versus fifth place playoff. And that sees Sheffield United meeting Nottingham Forest. If we were billing last night as the battle of the two surprise teams, these are the two sleeping giants and we're expecting two mighty big games, big clashes, big attendances, big atmospheres. Use whatever words you want. I'm really, really looking forward to this. We're a couple of hours from kickoff, so I'm going to go and try and find some friends, if I've got any, uh, find myself a drink, find ourselves some tea news and it is playoff time all over again. Sheffield United v Nottingham Forest, bring on the madness. Here's Lee the Blade. Um, Lee, Sheffield United actually have a worse playoff record than Ipswich, right? Yeah, and for that reason I'm completely confident we're <laughs> going to win 9-0 today. Look who we found, Hal Sheffield United way. Hal, you've, you've got a win today ahead of leg two haven't you yeah you keep saying that to me you're making me more and more nervous i mean realistically just like you said on your uh, fantastic preview by the way but it's it's all going to come down to this leg you do not want to be going to the city ground needing a result you know if we lose today i think that would be a disaster i don't even want to concede today i want <laughs> nice and easy just as it has been the last few games let's have three nil at half time please the defensive record is good we've got the team news in as well blades unchanged as we imagined they would be so burger Gibbs White um, and Dye up top of the danger. Forrest obviously going back to that team that played in that big head-to-head -head against Bournemouth that did lose that big head-to-head -head against Bournemouth, but strong, strong team from both. Really looking forward to this as we near downtown Bramall Lane. Johnson's causing havoc with his run-in, Zinkanogles finding the pockets, um, Garner behind is able to um, circulate that ball to the wings, Spence getting forward nicely and honestly could be 2-0, 3-0, um, anything frankly and this tie could be getting away from Sheffield United at this point. Forrest playing really well, they look really confident, really smooth and at the top end of the pitch they look really, really efficient. Um, for Sheffield United now it's genuinely about the tie not getting away from them here and for Nottingham Forest there's almost a sense of can they win it today? Can they take a two goal lead to the city ground and be so, so comfortable? There needs to be um, a change in Sheffield United's direction else um, 
this tie is gonna well it's gonna be looking very one-sided ahead of Tuesday's game half time a very impressive Nottingham Forest lead 1-0 uh, uh, quite badly off the pace Sheffield United Tengon in the second half, um, better from Sheffield United, the game looks a bit more of a contest than it did for the first 10 minutes of this half than it did in the last 15 minutes um, of the first half. Nothing really in the way of big chances created, but um, far more competitive, but um, I would suggest they need a goal and wouldn't want to go to the city ground behind, so Forrest do still hold the cards here, 55 gone, Blades nil, Forrest one. today is that the tie over as well it's Forest 2-0 up now 70 gone we just had a couple of substitutions Norwood went out and Osborne went across the midfield and Bulldog came in Joe Lolly came on for Forest and it was him who caught out I think John Egan Lolly ran in behind again the ball was parried very much like the first goal and Brennan Johnson coming in from behind strokes it in 2-0 for Forest, 70 gone, and they're going to be having, as things stand, a big, comfortable lead going into leg two on Tuesday. Last throws of normal time here, 88 gone. Forest are just trying to take the sting out of this now and um, take it back to the city ground at 2-0. They're doing a pretty good job of it, to be fair. Sheffield United looking a bit loose, and Forest, as they have done for most of the game, looking fairly calm and composed. Um, unless we get something dramatic across stoppage time. This one's all done for today. Well, how about that? Just into stoppage time, and Sheffield United do get a goal back. Corner in, free header, it's poor from Forrest. Really lack of concentration there. Jack Robinson heads it in. They may live to regret that goal. They've probably deserved a two goal cushion through the game, but they don't have one. 2 1 with about 90 seconds of stoppage time to play. Full time here. Sheffield United 1, Nottingham Forest 2. I don't know whether I need to change what I'm going to say based on that very late goal by Jack Robinson, although the guy on the PA did say Sander Berger. Um, Forest were excellent and um, the fact that they don't have a 2-0 lead is um, probably um, a bit of a win in the, in the very micro for Sheffield United, but Forest were by far the better side today. Um, it looked more like a sort of three or four than a two one that it turned out to be so maybe just maybe there's that little chance possibly that that late late goal could do something what I will say is if the um, the performances are vaguely similar in the second game then Forrest will be going through to Wembley I said before today Sheffield United needed to win today I didn't particularly fancy them going to the city ground with a draw and going and getting the result there and I do fancy them even less and um, so I make Forrest strong favourites now to go through and do this. Um, Brennan Johnson excellent, just a snap of the Forrest attack and the calmness during the game was um, what really has swung it for them. Um, Jack Colback with that early goal and uh, Brennan Johnson getting the second but you never, never know in the playoffs with that late um, goal for Sheffield United. Will it make a difference? Um, hit the like button if you have enjoyed the vlog today. Also, check out right here. Um, I was at Luton versus Huddersfield last night. If you're a Forest fan or a Sheffield United fan, check out who you might well be facing in the final here. Um, roll on Tuesday night where it's going to be Nottingham Forest taking a 2-1 lead into leg two of this semi-final. Thank you for watching. Over and out.